Hi, welcome back to Advanced Software Engineering. Today we're going to talk about metrics. Metrics are mm, things that we can measure in a project or in a process and that we can measure for a particular product over the iterations of um, of the projects that we carry out for it. So for our measurement activities that we run in our little company, we can do that based on things that happen in the process and based on things that we can find in a product. And then we get three types of metrics out of this. First one, project metrics. So project metrics means we've been developing this product for some time and version 123 that we're going to release next week, that is a particular project that we've been working on for two months. So we get the metrics for one particular project, as in how much were we on time for a particular milestone and uh, how many defects that we find during the final testing phase. and how many defects that we find after we deployed it with the customer for the first time. And then over time, that will give us insight into the product metrics. So product metric means now I'm not only looking at one instance of the project, I'm looking at all the projects that were working on that particular product. And then last but not least, I can also get to some process metrics. And that means I'm going to look into how well does this development process work that I'm asking my software engineers to follow. So how long does it usually take them to get to the requirements? Um, what are the biggest problems in requirements engineering? Uh, how long does the implementation take in comparison to requirements engineering and design? And how much effort do we spend on testing? And with that, over time, we are able to do software process improvement. So those process metrics, they feed into something that we call software process improvement. And for, for those up here, that helps us to do quality assurance for the product. Now the process metrics, we also take the project metrics to feed into the process metrics over time because the project is the one instance and then many projects over time that are related to one product will help us define the product metrics and all the projects that our company does um, taken together and accumulated, that will give us a better insight into our process metrics. I'm just not going to draw more arrows here because that's going to make it a little too crowded. But with the process metrics, we can then work on our software process improvement. And for that, I need to have a clearly understood process model And then I have my improvement goals because maybe I know that, oh, it just takes us too long to talk to all the customers and get all the requirements together. And here come in the process metrics. So that may be something that I want to improve. And the process metrics may help me figure out what is going on there over time. And how can I potentially improve that? Software process improvement short SPI. That's what we get. And what comes out of here is process improvement recommendations. And now if it turns out, for example, that we take too much time in requirements engineering because 
We always try to schedule several workshops where all stakeholders are participating at the same time. And then maybe one of the recommendations for improvement is instead of our first workshop, we're going to do individual interviews with all important stakeholders. And then after we've consolidated the information from that, then we're going to do a joint workshop so we only have to get, get them together in one room once during that period instead of several times. But that's only one way of approaching that. So by measuring things in our projects over time, we get insight into the quality for the products, into the quality of the process, and specifically for the quality of the process, we can then go through software process improvement that will help us get better at developing software over time.